Hey everyone, it's me, Anime Game Nerd here, bringing you my more so thoughts on the winter season of Anime. And how this is going to work is, I'm not really going to show my face as you can see right now throughout the entirety of this. I may like put a clip or a more so, I guess, image from the anime while I give my more so thoughts about like my more so first impressions from the first episode or in some of these anime cases. In fact, I think most of them, the second episode. And yeah, let's kick it off by starting with my intro and see you for the first one, like in 30 seconds. Here is my first more so anime that I'm going to talk about, and this first one is Pupa. Now Pupa is an adaptation of a manga written by Mongyo Sa Saiki Saikika, yeah sorry if I pronounced your name to the dude or she that wrote Pupa, and if you watch this, which I seriously doubt you are, sorry for accidentally butchering your name. But yeah, now on to more so what Pupa is about than my thoughts on it. Basically, f let me just go into actually this before I talk about, about it. I've read a bit of the Pupa manga, like around 7 chapters a few months ago. And I must say, the first episode, it's like this. It's like, this should not be 5 minutes. In case you don't know, the Pupa anime, it's only 5 minutes. Episodes are only going to be 5 minutes in length. At first I was like, eh. Maybe they'll find ways to do what, like, one chapter per an episode. Hell no, it's like, they leave shit out big time. Like, the more so many character, the older brother, we see him at the beginning of the episode. He has, like, all these scars. He was beat up. Perhaps they'll show this in the second episode by Dalit. They basically remove, remove the scene on how he ends up like that. And no one even questions it. And... More so, I'm not going to actually try and spoil what Pupa's about, but basically, in the episode, more so, this little girl, this, I mean, not little girl, high school girl, is walking more so down a park, and this woman tells her to go home before she sees the red butterf butterflies. Next thing, we know that she's a monster, and she could potentially just ate a few people with her brother just staring at her, with just, and he looks absolutely scared. You, it's, you can really tell this episode is rushed. It's like this. It's like every episode's more so. F uh, I have the file. I'm looking at the file right now that I downloaded. It's four minutes and one second. Now there's like, I would say, a 20 second opening and a 30 second ending. Already right there, that's 50 seconds. So I guess we can narrow it down to three minutes and 10 seconds is all we have. This. I will probably check out the next episode, but this was pretty damn rushed. And according to my anime list, list like let let let's see the yeah the, according to my anime list there will be twelve episodes, four minutes each. So that'll be roughly twelve times four would be roughly I would think sixty minutes. That's not even the length of a movie, which. Like, I did hear the Pupa manga is in Japan soon, but they really, really dropped the ball here. But, yeah, let's move on to the next anime before more so my thoughts on this becomes the exact same length as the anime episode itself. The next series I'm going to talk about is Sakeki Imoto wa Yasa. You know what? Fuck it. The English name for this anime is recently My Sister is Unusual, which, judging by that, I imagine half of you probably lost or a interest, but if it makes you at all a little more interested, it is more, it's actually step-sibling interest incest, which, eh, that's fine with me, it's not, not blood-related or anything, but now I'll mention 
something that will even kill your interest again. During, I was really bored during these two episodes. I will probably watch it just and eh, out sheer boredom, but I got really bored. This is like, this is essentially, I guess, a meh anime. How do I more so begin to describe this anime? Here's what I here's what the summary is more so. Basically, the day after these two, these this teenage boy and this teenage girl meet, they more so be the become step siblings because their parents got married. I'm guessing they hide their relationship behind their back, or I'm or something like that. I'm not entirely sure since we got literally no information on that. And while well, one day, while they're both walking from school, school, the Morisou sister, whose name is Mis Misu Misaki, I believe, Misuki, had that was her name. She more so, while walking up a up a bridge, ends up passing out. Her brother catches her, her and he takes her to the hospital. And from then on, she starts acting weird. At first, she more so tries to be like, "We can fuck." Big Brother, we can, and she's more so says Big Brother, we can finally talk, and she's about to put the moves on him. But, she, but then she goes, I guess, full soon dead mode, says she screams, don't touch me, and just kicks him out of the room. Then when she gets home, she finds out this ghost name, Hiori, possessed her, and essentially in the second episode, we find out, find out the whole reason why this happens, is that she won't, is that, her is that she wants to get her brother to fall in love with her, which the way she's making out to be, it is the more so I guess is the main lead of the the more main male main lead of the anime, Yua, who is Misaki's older stepbrother. Now I have a feeling, feeling just especially judging from the ending. It's just they look. It's just Hiori's brother and and Yuni. You uh, only have the same first name, and they look a lot alike. I think they're going to be two different people. That, to me, is very fucking obvious. That's for sure. And then, and, but and here's what more so the thing is. And that's I, and the reason why she is more so ghost was that she got killed, and she wanted to spend a lot more time with her bro brother. And she was actually in love with him. That is more so the reason there. So yeah, I guess you can say from that point, it is full-on incest. Which, there's only two episodes so far. Far, I think this is going to be a 12-episode series. But, it's like during these 12 episodes, I was pretty goddamn bored. Really. I was like, some of the jokes, eh. I just honestly didn't really care for care for and just didn't laugh at them. Now I admit I did find it funny on when the more when Yua walked in on onto Misaki key on how when she had her pants down and more so the school nurses room in the second episode and then later a bit later on in the episode Misaki walked in on him naked in the bathroom. That I actually did find that a bit funny. But other than that, like, some of the jokes I could get, I can tell, no way. They actually got old the moment they were first told was when Misuski was wanting, was wanting to use the, whenever she has to, to use the bathroom, bathroom, and I guess a more, so I guess, lesbian sex, se I, lesbian rape or whatever, he already does to Misuki. That, eh. That right there just shows me the fact that, yeah, this anime wants to be a hentai, doesn't it? But this was, I guess, an, a meh anime. I got pretty bored. There's a chance I may watch it or just wait for all the episodes to come out. Then just, like, watch the rest of them. Unless if it gets any shittier, then I'll drop it like no tomorrow. And, yeah. Alright, what do you guys think of this anime? Tell me down below. And, yeah, moving on to the next anime. And now the next series we're going to be talking about is a pretty much a series from my favorite anime studio. And the name of the series is Maho Sin Sinso or its English name goes as Magical Warfare. 
Okay, more so my first impressions of Magical Warfare is this. So far, this is a great first episode. Oh my god, this... This was definitely... At this point, I've only watched three series. This could change by, like, tomorrow when I'm going to watch the rest of the series I plan to. But so far, Magical Warfare is indeed my favorite. Definitely had a great first episode and a good first impression. In now the now definitely a lot of the concepts of the show the concept of the show intro definitely got my attention and yeah I'm looking forward to seeing the next episode. Basically, what Magical Warfare is about is that one day the main character of the series Takashi and his girlfriend Kiyomi are more so walking to school when sh when they more so go separate ways ways while ways Takashi. He opens the door and finds a girl passed out there. He takes her to the nurse's office, but things don't go awry. Right. Three pe more so four people show up, and one of them being this girl's brother starts attacking them. And then things from find out from there. Th and Tagashi finds out from there, this girl and all of those pe and the people that are going trying to attack her are all magicians. And in fact, with being in contact with them, with with this girl named. Miu, Tagashi ends up becoming a magician himself, and as we go for more so the first episode, he's more so trying to run from them and fights and defeats one of them, but his but his girlfriend and one of his friends along the way ends up becoming magicians as well. So at the end of the episode, Miu has to take them to the magical world, which the magical world looks like an interesting place due to the fact that it it more so looks like as from what we saw, a big city but sort of a big city that, I guess an area that has been just filled with more, so I guess chaos and more, perhaps the fact that the magical world could be, I guess you could say, in a civil war. That That is my best theory on that, that I think might be the case. And I'm just going to get this out of the way. I don't think the, I don't think so far any ending or opening will actually top magical warfare. Fair, at least in terms of this season. Definitely so far has the best opening and ending. Oh my god, that is a freaking awesome opening and ending right there. And what else is there? And another thing I really enjoyed with the show is that it's the action. Then again, this is a Madhouse anime. They usually do have some quality action. And Magical Warfare doesn't disappoint. So yeah. The only thing I guess I can say that's the only and thing thing I can say negative about this is that I did find the episode to be a bit slow in the beginning, and it kind of bums me out because according to my anime list, this is only going to be 12 episodes. Hopefully, this can I guess until an action story in 12 episodes, or perhaps who knows, maybe a second season. But yeah, overall, definitely look forward. I'm definitely am looking forward to the second episode. Gonna. I think I'll probably end up reviewing this series straight up. Up and yeah, overall, definitely so far my favorite episode, I mean my favorite anime of the winter.